Okay, I'm going to do this short video, or maybe not so short video, about a method I'm trying out with making a pour over with a saturation of the grounds using a WDT tool. You can also use something like a chopstick or a glass stirrer if you don't have uh, in my case, I'm using a four-prong WDT tool that I made myself using a cork and some acupuncture needles of the correct, you know, size. I don't remember the size. But I'm using a here a V60, a metal V60 in this case, and um, I'm going to grind some... 20 grams of a natural Nicaraguan coffee that I got from the roaster of Cafe Vita in Seattle. So, going to measure out my 20 grams. My K series Easy Presso. Which I use on seven. Maybe like six and three quarters. So fairly fine. I don't know how much that is with other grinders. But definitely not super fine at all. Okay, got my grinds. And got my B60. I'm using a variable kettle that's sort of like a copy of the fellow. Um, that I picked up on Amazon for about much less money than a fellow. But you know, it's a good one. Um, it's variable. I have it set at 90 degrees Celsius. And um, pre-wet the filter. It doesn't require too much pre-wetting because it's a metal V60. It will get hot pretty quickly. Let that drain out. my 20 grams there, tear, and what I like to do first of all is create kind of like a kuboni, a hole for the water to flow in there with my WDT. Start timer and I'll put in the bloom will be about, let's say something like 60 grams of water for this 20 gram dose, I'm gonna put in about 300 grams of water in total. So here it goes, I start my timer and I'll do about a 60 gram wetting. And what I like to do is I'll kind of st not stir, not definitely not a heavy stir, but I like to go in on the sides just to get those grounds pretty saturated. And then back up again. I like to get, you know, make sure that all the grounds are, and it looks like me really messy, 
But basically what I'm doing here is I'm really making sure that the grounds are really properly saturated and kind of loose, basically, because I'm going to put in the, the rest of the water. I want it to just kind of like saturate quickly and evenly in a fast way so that most of the extraction comes out in the first couple of seconds, basically. So I start, you know, with the center, and then I go in circles for a little bit, probably until like 120 grams. And then I just go straight down the middle with a really slow stream of water right down the middle just to keep that flow going, you know, at kind of like the same rate as it's coming out. And I think this is kind of osmosis a little bit because it's kind of creating a flow of water that is pushing everything in all directions from the center out and from the center down you know, while kind of maintaining everything like flowing really well, you know, and everything's just like a slurry that's just like quickly draining, but evenly draining down into the coffee bed. And I'll reach my 300 and stop. And that's that. It's basically all done because it's already drained down kind of at the same rate. You get this little kind of hole in the middle, which looks funny because I didn't do any kind of swirling with my hand. But as you can see, I mean, it's I'm at three minutes and it's all done, really. I mean, it's still dripping, but I'm, I'm all done at three minutes, um, which is great for this kind of dose, I think pretty fast, not any kind of stalling, and it's, everything just flowed down easily. Most of the extraction probably happened at, like in the first few seconds, which is when the coffee tastes the best probably, the, the sweetest, I think. And, um, and it's done really, like by 3.30, I can just take it out. Yeah, definitely a very nice smelling coffee, natural processed coffee from Nicaragua. Um, you got a, you know, it's a light, pretty light roast, but not too, not too light. I think it says, I think it doesn't say, but it's like a medium, medium light roast. And what I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to get all the flavor, not just the fruity flavor, which is a kind of a peach and key lime pie kind of acidity. So a very sweet acidity, stone fruit acidity, but it, try to get some of that cocoa nib, you know, flavor, that roasty flavor that it has, that chocolatey, nutty flavor that it has. It definitely has it. It's just a little harder to extract those flavors with balance. And I think this method gives me um, a really good balance between the stone fruit acidity and some of those more nutty flavors. So that's it. I wanted to share this method and you could definitely make one of these or find one of these online. You can also use guitar strings, like a G string. Um, it's something that you could use to make a four prong uh, WDT tool, or alternatively a chopstick, or a glass, you know, cocktail stirrer like this one would work too, for just to get the grounds kind of all wet and not any heavy stirring, of course, you don't want to agitate too much, but so that's all. Um, just wanted to share that information and uh, hope you enjoy your coffee. Thank you. Yes.